Remember, if Del Rio taps out, Cena wins. Punk is down, he can't have it. Wait a minute, what is Ricardo doing? Ricardo knocked down the official, he opened up the, the cell. Oh, hey, he had a steel pipe in his hand. Good job, Cena. Cena thwarting Ricardo. Oh, look at him. Oh. Hey, hey, outside the cell. That's it for Ricardo, but what's that steel pipe? Oh, man, right to the midsection. And now Del Rio is, is closing that, that door on the steel cage. He's locked it. How smart is that, King? Now Del Rio makes sure it's one on one. Cena has been taken out of the picture. Cena has been taken out of the picture. Oh! Cena can't get in the cell. Cena can't get in the cell. Del Rio using that that steel pipe and Cena struggling, trying to get in, but there's no way that that door is locked. Now mocking Cena. Man, brilliant strategy from Del Rio. Well, with John Cena locked outside the cage now, this becomes a one-on-one -on -one match with Alberto Del Rio and CM Punk. Oh, no. He's got a sledgehammer. Wow! If he keeps this up, this could be over quick. Hear it? Oh, my gosh. He stopped it. Man, I thought he was done for. CM Punk has been in one Hell in a Cell match in his career, as has John Cena. Alberto Del Rio is making his first appearance. Oh, no! Oh, my gosh! I thought he was going to get leveled there. Hear it? Oh, my gosh, he stopped it. Man, I thought he was done for. Oh, my, enough with that sledgehammer. And that one hit with the force of a big rig. And he gets tossed back in the ring. Oh, out of nowhere! Hey, think about what you're doing. And we're going back between the ropes. Boy, he was able to reverse it. Get out of that. Nice dodge there. Here goes Punk! And that's a stiff kick. He gets out of trouble there. WWE Champion. Remember the rules. The first man to gain pinfall or submission will become the WWE Champion. Oh, and let's make it clear, Michael, that the pinfall or submission must take place inside the ring. Which is surrounded by this cavernous hell in a cell. It's 20 feet high. It weighs five tons. It's 3,200 square feet of steel. That's bigger than an average American home. It's certainly bigger than your double wide. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the next time we come to you on pay-per-view will be for bragging rights from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Ah, uh, yes, Minnesota, the home of the AWA. You know, Cole, I'm a former AWA World Heavyweight Champion. Oh, and the reversal by John Cena. Great move. What's he gonna do here? What's 
he going to do here? Dear Lord, what a suplex. He anticipated that move perfectly. Cena reverses it. Oh, he really telegraphed that one, Cole. You know, John Cena is no stranger to WWE Championship matches being contested under triple threat rules, Cole. You know, you're right, King. Who will ever get John Cena defeating then champion The Miz inside a steel cage to claim the WWE title earlier this year at Extreme Rules? Or WrestleMania 24, when Randy Orton successfully defended his WWE Championship against both John Cena and Triple H. But of course, this is a completely different animal, King. There's Why's nothing that? quite like Hell in a Cell. Oh, yeah. I mean, the structure has shortened the careers of some of the biggest and baddest men to ever compete. All three of these men will be going through hell here tonight. But according to Alberto Del Rio, he's the only one that'll be coming back. King, if I'm gonna be honest, Alberto Del Rio doesn't deserve to be locked in the cell. What? He's not an animal. Yes, he is. He's not a criminal. Yes, he is. This man is a philanthropist. A he's an aristocrat from Mexico. He's put thousands of people to work. Oh, well, that's your opinion, Cole. If Alberto Del Rio wants to achieve his so-called destiny, he's going to have to survive this barbaric structure. King, did you know that the first seven Hell in a Cell matches all featured either Undertaker or Mick Foley, and in some cases, both? Yeah, and to be honest with you, I'm surprised Mick Foley ever stepped foot back inside that cell. After what Undertaker did to him at King of the Ring in 1998, throwing him off the top of the structure? Are you kidding me? Do you remember that goal? Of course! Oh, there's been a lot of speculation headed into this match about whether Alberto Del Rio could adapt to Hell in a Cell, given that tonight is his first ever time inside the structure. But let's not forget how vicious and aggressive Alberto Del Rio can be. This is a man who took Mysterio out of action and forced Edge to retire. Well, Alberto Del Rio has damaged many a man since coming to the WWE, but can he become the WWE Champion here tonight? CM Punk has been in one Hell in a Cell match in his career, as has John Cena. Alberto Del Rio is making his first appearance inside this structure. Yeah, and quite frankly, neither CM Punk nor John Cena had great success in their first Hell in a Cell match. But you would have to think they learned a great deal from those first matches, which may give them the advantage over Alberto Del Rio here tonight. Of course, we're in New Orleans tonight for this amazing Hell in a Cell pay-per-view. The last time WWE held a pay-per-view from this historic city was June 2009 for Extreme Rules. Oh, I remember that, and that was a lucky night for CM Punk. It was at Extreme Rules that he cashed in his Money in the Bank briefcase to defeat Jeff Hardy for the World Heavyweight Championship. And John Cena beat Big Show that night in the submission match. There's so much amazing sports entertainment history in this great city. You know, if I were a betting man, Cole, I'd be willing to bet that one day New Orleans will host the granddaddy of them all, WrestleMania. CM Punk and John Cena know each other so well. They had what has to be considered the rivalry of the summer here in the WWE. And to think, it almost never happened after CM Punk walked out of the WWE after beating John Cena for the championship at Money in the Bank pay-per-view. And the following month at SummerSlam after CM Punk did come back, Punk beat Cena to be named the WWE's undisputed champion, thanks in part to a missed call by guest referee Triple H. Now mocking Cena. 
Man, brilliant strategy from Del Rio. Well, with John Cena locked outside the cage now, this becomes a one-on-one -on -one match with Alberto Del Rio and CM Punk. What about Alberto Del Rio? Where are his chance? Well, you're not going to get a lot of Del Rio chance, Cole, especially given the shape he's in right now. Remember, CM Punk lost his WWE Championship when Alberto Del Rio cashed in his Money in the Bank contract at SummerSlam. Then John Cena beat Alberto Del Rio for the title last month at the Night of Champions pay-per-view. And amazingly, Del Rio claims Cena doesn't deserve to be champion, despite making Del Rio tap out. educated feet to good use. Punk turns it around. Oh, Punk can change the outlook of a match in an instant. Oh, mama! Back into the ring now. display of power and will this be it two three and Alberto Del Rio has won the WWE Championship with John Cena helplessly looking on from outside the cell this is unbelievable what a travesty Cole I can't believe I saw what I just saw travesty I'd say it was brilliant I've never seen anything like it oh you would say that standing with the WWE title on his hands was me, Alberto Del Rio. There's no one better than Alberto Del Rio in WWE, so you better get used to see me as a WWE champion for long. I'm powerful! Long. I'm rich! Long time. Berto, I hate to interrupt anybody when they're talking, but I never received my one-on-one -on -one title shot after you cashed in your Money in the Bank contract on me. You got the cojones to put the title on the line against me? Losers don't deserve title shots. Why don't you come and see me when you do something right? Executive Vice President John Laurinaitis gave CM Punk the opportunity he was waiting for. CM Punk will face Alberto Del Rio for the WWE Championship if CM Punk can defeat Mark Henry. If Punk can land the elbow here, Jerry, this could be over. Punk, elbow to the heart. And there's the WWE Champion Alberto Del Rio, his personal ring announcer, Ricardo Rodriguez. But he sent Rodriguez to the ring, and Rodriguez is pummeling away on Mark Henry. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this match as a result of a disqualification, Mark Henry. See if Punk is livid. I believe what it means is that Punk doesn't get his title opportunity in Survivor Series. Later that night. Wow. Alberto Del Rio is knocked out cold. CM Punk took matters into his own hands. It's a simple yes or no answer. What do you say? What do you say? And I'm not going to let go until you say yes to giving me my match at Survivor Series. Can I have a match at Survivor Series? You have your match. Oh, God.